After a long day of traveling, I have returned to none other than Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome everyone to the Mirage Hotel and Casino Resort, my home for the next few days. Let's not waste any time and check this place out. Are you ready? If so, come along with me. Just checked in on the 18th floor. Now we have to find our room. If I'm not mistaken, I believe we are down the north wing and we have what the MGM properties are notoriously known for, their never ending hallways. All right, here we are, number 82, second to last room. Why is the TV on? Hello? Is someone in here? All right, let me get some lights on, make sure there's no one hiding in here. So I confirmed there's no one in here. I guess they have it set up like that for when you're arriving to your room. So we are right here, the red dot, number 82, second to last room on the end of, I believe, the north wing. You can see the building layout of the hotel tower is like an arrow or a triangle. So we got uh, 82 and we're on the 18th floor. So as we come in, it's actually a really nice room. Um, got a closet here. Illuminated, plenty of hangers. You got your luggage tote there. Safe. And of course the uh, closet doors are full length mirrors. So, hey guys, coming to the bathroom, which is probably my only complaint. It is rather small. But how, how often are you in the bathroom? Big lighted mirror, couple little dried water droplets on it. Looks like it wasn't really wiped down entirely, but not a big deal. Close up mirror, couple glasses, box of tissues. Cure cleansing soap, MGM Resorts brand, as well as some conditioner, shampoo, body lotion, more soap. That's actually pretty dirty. Good water pressure. Let's see how long it takes to get water because hot water took a long time in MGM. Oh yeah, it's already getting hot. So we got good water, but again, not wiped down. I'm not gonna really nitpick about it. Extra towels here, very thin. Ugh, got a hair hanging right there. This wasn't, ugh. Hope this doesn't get worse. Let's check the toilet. Toilet looks clean. Let's check the underneath. Okay, that's at least wiped down. Got a shower tub combination here. Not the best shower head. Let's see water pressure on that. It's strong. It's just very narrow. <laughs> okay, so bathroom is not the greatest, but I've seen worse. Another uh, big mirror here. Odd place for your dresser. Light does work, which is blocking some artwork here. Just some colored shapes. Oh, there's a better art piece there, kind of psychedelic. Um, oh, I believe we have some over-the-bed lights. Let's see here. Oh, yes, there we go. Really adds the so-called ambiance. So, kind of matching art pieces. These headboards are purple. It's actually a really neat color. Kind of gives it like a royalty feel to it. And the lighting does accentuate the, the color there. There's this two queen beds, lamp here in the middle, some more drawers, 
Vegas does not believe in Bibles, I don't believe, because I have yet to see a Bible in a Vegas hotel room. Uh, it's been around here. Okay, so we got a live aquarium here. And that's what I heard when I walked in the room. I'm like, someone's in here watching TV. But no, it was just this. It's like a screensaver, welcome type thing. Now let's move on to the stuff you don't want to touch. So they do have complimentary stuff here. Well, I shouldn't say complimentary. They do have stuff for you, but you don't want to take it or use it. Uh, let's see, we got Mirage brand M&M's, peanut M&M's, peanuts, looks like milk duds and granola, uh, Pringles, charging kit, Fiji water, but it is not free. As we've seen in the past, they do charge an arm and a leg. That's actually locked. So I'm not even gonna try to open that. That's supposed to be a fully stocked mini bar with fully stocked prices. I'm not touching that. Oh, these drawers come out kind of curved. So a lot of storage or drawers, dressers, whatever you want to call for your clothing. I like the lighting on the side of the TV here. It's padded as well. Nice counter space to put your stuff. Desk area, which also works as a table. Plenty of outlets, which I do like to see. You hook up actually to um, the TV here with USB. Uh, HDMI, RCA, so they have all the connections there for you. Uh, carpet is just average. You know, the, the foyer area, if you want to call it that, does have tile here. And it has two queen beds. The uh, climate control is over there. And I'm going to show you the view in just a moment, but there's something we need to do first. Something that is the utmost importance of doing a room tour and that is a bed test. So after doing some very thorough and extensive scientific testing on the beds, came to one conclusion. The beds are comfortable. Gets a thumbs up for me. Yeah, the beds are really soft and plush. You know, it doesn't feel like you're gonna have a bad night's sleep. Pillows also look equally as comfortable. Nice, thick pillows, they look clean. Let's see here. So it does have the uh, pad underneath. So everything looks clean bed-wise, which is obviously really important. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna kill the lights in here and give you a view outside. All right, so it's really hard to give a view. There's a lot of glare here. There's light shooting right by the windows. But, I mean, you could kind of make out here, I'm trying to show you the best I can. So right across is Harrah's. You see the uh, big sky wheel there. To the left is the Venetian. And right below us is the big atrium. The volcano's down there too. I will give you a view in the daytime. It's gonna look much better than it does right now, but it does look pretty incredible. All lit up with the lights. But let me turn the lights back on because I have some information I wanna share with you. All right, so the room tour overall is really good. Except for the bathroom, I'm not gonna really gripe about that. I'm not gonna complain to the management or staff. Stuff like that happens. Hopefully when they come to redo the room tomorrow morning, it will be cleaned up. If I notice anything really bad, obviously I'll bring it to their attention. But I want you guys to watch this video to the end because if you do, I have two tips that I'm gonna share with you. One is gonna involve you saving money if you come here. Second one involves you getting a room upgrade. I have tips that I wanna share with you that some people may not know about if you plan on coming to the Vegas area anytime in the near future, it may be, may be beneficial to you. But now we need to do something else. After a very long day of traveling and doing the room tour, it really works up an appetite. Even though it's late, I'm hungry, I'm starving. So let's go get some dinner. Welcome to dinner. We are here at Snacks. This is an eatery here inside the Mirage. And I picked this place for a few reasons. Number one, the Mirage doesn't have a food court like MGM and some of the other hotels where you get some cheaper quick eats. So here at the Mirage, they have regular restaurants, actually a good variety of them, but many of them are out of my budget, out of my price range. They're actually quite expensive. So I was doing research on the, on the resort and this place called Snacks came up. It had really great reviews. So number one, it's fairly affordable compared to the other places here. Number two, the food is reported to taste really good and you actually get good portion sizes for your money, which is 
kind of a rare thing here in Vegas, so you get actually a good bang for your buck. On top of that, I'm actually a member of the M Life. It's a rewards program through My Vegas. You actually play an app, playing slots for free, and you earn points. And I was able to redeem them for a buy one get one free. So I bought myself a blue cheese bacon, a blue cheeseburger, which sounds kind of interesting. I got myself an Italian hero, an order of tater tots, and the soda. And all that came to 4402, but when you get the comp of the buy one get one free, they knock off one of those sandwiches. So they knocked off 1595, Hubble came to 2807. That may sound a lot to you, but again, in Vegas, everything is much more expensive here. On top of that, I'm getting almost twice the food for the price of one. So it worked out really fantastic for me because, you know, being here tonight, I'm eating late, I'm starving, so I have a lot of food. Whatever I don't finish here, I can take it back to the hotel room for dinner part two. So once the food does come, I'll obviously share it with you guys. We'll show it, give you my thoughts on it. But I am starving, and the place is actually quite crowded here. There's a lot of people here, so it must be pretty good that um, people are coming here to buy the food because um, if there's no good, they won't be here to spend their money on it. So uh, we'll find out pretty soon. I'm actually surprised for a Monday night, it is jam-packed not only here in snacks, but in the hotel in general, it is really busy here. You know, they're saying Vegas is back, it's back. You know, we're here May 31st, and as of tomorrow, June 1st, most of the restrictions are all gone. You know, masks are not mandated now inside the casinos, and most businesses won't require them. Tram, the monorail's back up and running. So it's good to see, you know, the town, the city coming back to life, but at the same time, it makes it more hectic. But um, also wanted to mention too, that they do give this little buzzer thing when your food's ready so you can pick a table you know get yourself ready and then when the food's ready they will buzz you for it also to excuse me i forgot to mention they are open for breakfast lunch and dinner seven days a week and the menu is you know clearly out there there's no hidden fees or cost uh, they do have a fountain machine fountain soda but it is turned off for some reason so i had to get a bottle of soda which i'm kind of disappointed in but you know, it's just the way it goes but i am starving I hope the food comes really soon because uh I might start munching on this. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes. I mean, the place is busy here, so it's not really that bad. And I gotta say, I don't know if it's just because I'm really hungry or if it's just that good, but it smells amazing. So I got the blue cheeseburger. Uh, I never had it before, but it has bacon on it, which is a pleasant surprise. I have an order of tater tots here. Came with some little gherkin uh, pickles. And then I have to go for the room, the Italian hero here. So let me get myself situated and we're gonna dive in and try this. Tater top. Nice and crispy and crunchy. Here, have some. Just don't take them all. They do have french fries. Buy out the potato tots just for something different. They are really good. Now, like I said, the reviews online say that you get big portions. They're not lying. I mean, this is a lot of food. It's a good sized hoagie. It's stuffed. This is going to be wow. Hopefully, you can see that. I mean, that's big. All right, we're going to dive right in. I do see. Blue cheese, cheese, bacon, onions, lettuce, burger patty. Two burger patties. This is huge. Mm. That has a lot of flavor. And not in a bad way. It's it's almost perfect. I mean you can taste the blue cheese. You could taste everything. It's just a perfect combination. Even the onions don't taste bad. I mean, the onions kind of accompany it. No word of lie, I needed this right now. I'm traveling all day, having two flights, one of which was delayed, which means I arrived in Vegas later than I was supposed to. And another luggage screw up, which they didn't lose my luggage, but it came out of the wrong turnstile. This is just what I need. This is putting a smile on my face, making me feel happy. 
There's a lot of food here too. Definitely gonna finish this. The hoagie is going back to the room with me. If I don't have it later tonight, I'll have it tomorrow. I'm gonna finish everything here, then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts, wrap everything up. Okay, I'm throwing in the towel. Can't do it. There's so much food here, it's ridiculous. And I'm not complaining, it's just, I can't finish it. It's just way too much. The burger is enormous. It's like the equivalent of like a Big Mac and a half. The tater tots, I got through most of them. And uh, okay, so the hoagie's going back with me, but I got through more than half of it. It's mostly bun. You know, I'll eat the burger patties. I'll squeeze them in. The bun, very filling. But I am, I'm done. <laughs> that was a good meal though. That wasn't a smart idea to try to squeeze in those patties. <laughs> I am almost sickly full. So let me kind of wrap things up here. Snacks here is, uh, it's right on the verge of restaurant slash quick eats. It's not table service, but they do have sit down tables. And the food is cooked, you know, as ordered. It's not sitting out like fast food. So it is made to order food, tastes really fresh. I mean, it's a big, messy burger, but it was so good though. I mean, I have no complaints about it, except that it was just too much. The hoagie's going back with me and the tater tots, the rest of them are going back with me. I'll probably munch on those later. Now, if you want to find snacks, it's really easy to find. It's near the front of the hotel entrance, right near Starbucks. There was signs for it. And again, there are other restaurants here. This one's kind of set off by itself, but there are regular sit down restaurants, which are a great deal more expensive. Okay, I'm gonna get cleaned up here. Thanks for uh, joining me for the late night dinner, but we got a lot more to see and do. Good morning, everyone. It's now Tuesday morning. I spent my first official night here in the room with the Mirage. I wanna share a couple of thoughts and more importantly, show you how much better the view is now during the daytime. So I went to bed, I would guesstimate probably around <clears throat> after midnight, close to 1 a.m. Uh, Vegas time, which was close to 4 a.m. Pennsylvania time. So I've been up for um, at least 24 hours, but I got a pretty decent night's sleep. Um, I will say though, the bed is comfortable, but the one at the MGM was more comfortable. The pillows are nice. You know, the bed's nice, but there's just something about the bed there and the pillow there. I think it was just a tiny bit softer. I got a little bit better night's sleep there. After about 5, 6 a.m., I did start tossing and turning a little bit, but did keep sleeping until um, about 8.30. I actually had my alarm set for 7.30 and I snoozed it, went back to sleep because I was still tired. But um, I got everything kind of situated here. I went out and bought myself some water, got some ice, which is the probably best thing you could do here because, uh, like I said, you don't want to touch any of that stuff or even open that. But now I want to show you what I've been talking about. Now, last night was a beautiful view. You guys weren't able to see it very well. But daytime, it's uh, so much better. So check this out right now. Ta-da! I know you can see me there. Let me get off to the side. So here we are on the 18th floor. There's the South Tower. There is the atrium, which I have yet to show you. That's going to blow your mind when you see that. And looking across, I mean, we have a fantastic strip view. Looking down there is the Eiffel Tower of Paris. Caesars is right next to us. Flamingo is across the street there. And then the uh, big Ferris wheel, the Terras. And across the street, down there on the bottom, <clears throat> excuse me, is Casino Royale. That's where they have the, those really cheap $2.50 foot long hot dogs. Also across the street next to them, in between Harrah's and Casino Royale, is McDonald's and Ba, 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 Panda Express. So I am set for food here for, um, you know, my stay. I have a boatload of options within walking distance. And then looking across over here, we do have the Venetian. And they're actually uh, having the gondola rides right out there. But this is a really great view. 
uh, probably the best one I've ever had, much better than the MGMs. And the great thing is that there's no sheathing. Now, those upper floors there behind the Beatles, that's sheathing. You wouldn't really be able to see out of there if there's even rooms up there. But the volcano is right down there. And it's just uh, really fantastic. Another thing, too, that's kind of crazy, I discovered this last night. These windows actually open. I mean, I'm on the 18th floor. It opens that far. I'll give you a peek here. And yeah. <laughs> you could accidentally drop something out there. We could also kind of get some pictures, too. There, there's an un un unobstructed view. You're actually outside right now. So that is kind of crazy, but uh, pretty neat at the same time. I wouldn't put my phone out there, but that is uh, unexpected. I did not expect that. But right now, we are going to teleport ourselves through the magic of editing right down there. Alrighty, now they're outside, showing you the sign of Siegfried and Roy Drive, right in front of the Mirage. I'm down here on the strip here, Las Vegas Boulevard, and I'm going to show you a few things out here, but primarily I want to start off with the reason that I picked this particular resort. There's a lot of great features, a lot of great things that draw you in, but there's one key thing that drew me here, and I'm going to tell you what that is right now if you haven't already guessed. That is location, location, location. This is in the heart of all the action here in Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. There is all the big names around here. And just to uh, reference, you know, where we are as far as proximity to things, Caesars is right there. Next to that is the Bellagio, the famous fountain show. Cosmopolitan's next to that. Across from there, on the other side of the street, is going to be Paris. We do have valleys over there. We do have Harrah's Flamingo with the Flamingo Habitat. And we have the Venetian with Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. We have the Palazzo, the Wynn, Encore, Treasure Island right next to us on the other side. And um, just a short distance away, about a 20-minute walk, 5-minute drive is MGM. New York, New York. Luxor is probably the furthest one away. And then a little bit further in that direction, north is Circus Circus Stratosphere. So we are really close to the centralized area where everyone wants to come. And yes, if you couldn't tell, I am representing Knobles here on the West Coast. It's uh, roughly between 8.30 9 o'clock. It's already almost 90 degrees. It is going to be a hot one this week. The highest temperatures reported coming up to around 103, 105 each day. There's actually a heat index on the weather app. Overnight lows are in the 70s. The good thing is that there's very little humidity. It's not like Pennsylvania, not like Florida. There is very little humidity here, so it is tolerable to an extent, but you definitely need to keep hydrated and you need to pop into some air conditioning every once in a while. Thankfully, all the hotels are well air conditioned it's um you know feels really good when you come inside there i got a little bit of shade here behind this tower so i take advantage of that so what we have here is the key feature that people see or have heard about when they do come to las vegas specifically the mirage and we're going to talk about that next so along the whole front of the property is a big waterfall scene with mountains Dozens of palm trees, even some green dolphins over there. It looked like they were kind of created by the Hulk. <laughs> They're like the Hulk green color. Um, but it's a really scenic place. Oh, look at it. we got some friends coming to visit. There's three, three ducks and one straggler. And then we got a, a lone pigeon here. Hey, guys. And no, this is not grass either. This is artificial turf. This looks so inviting, though. I wish I could go in that. <laughs> but what you see here is a mountain waterfall that covers the whole property, transforms at night. That right there 
is the famous volcano, which we're obviously going to check out a couple times in this video. But the whole scene here is just fantastic. It is a Polynesian themed resort and very heavy on aquatic features as we're going to see both inside and outside. But we'll just take a little walk down here and show you more of it. This area here is the viewing deck, viewing platform for the volcano show, which does erupt four times a night. Eight, nine, 10, and 11. As long as there's no high winds. High winds, the show will be postponed. But this sidewalk here is lined with hundreds, if not thousands of people, especially on weekends, watching this iconic show. It's, a, it's water, it's fire, it's sound, it's everything. And in the daytime here, you can actually get a view inside the little bay here to see all the workings. There's actually gas lines running because there's little flamethrowers every so often that do uh, erupt as well. But that is pretty fantastic, both daytime and nighttime. Nighttime is my favorite part. But everywhere you look, though, there's just palm trees, waterfalls, dolphins, Shinlin, the magician. So if you like this type of theming, without a doubt, I think you would love to stay here or at least spend the day here exploring the hotel. Now, I will give you a little bonus tip because I'm just a nice guy like that. If you do want to watch the volcano show and this area here is already jam-packed filled, you don't want to be around hundreds or thousands of people, you can actually go to the valet area where it says Mirage right there. There's a sidewalk with that railing and you can actually stand there and watch it from the backside. Typically, a lot less people stand over there. And it'll still give you a great view of the volcano. Look at these ducks. I have no food for you, buddy. And as we'll see on the inside, this is one of the locations for Cirque du Soleil. Beatles edition, Beatles love, it's called. And as you can tell too, the strip this time of day is pretty quiet. There's not many people out, just a few people walking around. Nighttime is when it comes to life. But yeah, this is pretty nice, I will say. Cannot get sick of this view. As I mentioned from the room too, this is Casino Royale. It's a Best Western Plus, but they do have a casino. But there is a Outback Steakhouse in there. There's the $2.50 footlongs, but they have other food too. They have a White Castle. They also have a Walgreens and Denny's. Walgreens is your saving grace. I went in there, got a case of um, Aquafina water for just a few dollars. So much cheaper in there than the hotels themselves. Like I said, people watching, it's everywhere. So right next to the Mirage and the Treasure Island border, you will find a very iconic statue piece here of the famous, very famous Siegfried and Roy and one of their white tigers. They did hold residency here at the Mirage for years and actually had the pri privilege to see them in person when, it, when I was a kid back here in the 90s. Really entertaining, great show, combination of magic and live animals. It was, you know, one of the main draws here back in the 90s was Siegfried and Roy, and they are honored here, not only with the name, the road name that we saw, which is the driveway for the Mirage, Siegfried and Roy Drive, but also this pretty amazing statue piece here. I also have a placard here too. It says, dedicated to Siegfried and Roy, masters of the impossible, creators of an unprecedented phenomenon in the theatrical arts. As the pioneers of family entertainment in Las Vegas, they have changed the course of its history have become the city's all-time premier attraction. Furthermore, they have made conservation history in providing tireless and dedicated leadership to help preserve nature's endangered white tigers for future generations. With deepest gratitude from friends and admirers around the world whose lives have been enriched by their magical touch. October 1993.
As we make our way up the sidewalk alongside the driveway towards the valet main entrance, we are now brought to the backside of the waterfall volcano area. Even back here, it's all themed out. Very lush looking, and you can see you know, the waterfall making its way down. So many like picture opportunities as well. I mean, I'm not gonna go crazy here, but you know, if you like to take pictures or learning photography, locations like this offer you boatloads of opportunity. I'm gonna keep you guys rolling as we make our way up further. There's even a larger waterfall back here too. It's a very scenic location. You know what, let's take a selfie. Say cheese. There we go. In the back of the property, they do have a self-park garage. And up until now, it has been free parking. But starting today, June 1st, parking is being charged. But the good thing is, is that when you do stay here on an MGM property, you do have access to the other MGM properties. So even though you're paying for parking here, you um, are able to go to like, the MGM Grand, Luxor, Excalibur, and a few others, and be able to park there as being the MGM guest. All you have to do is bring your hotel room key, and you'll be able to get access to their garages as well. Now, I did luck out because I booked my trip back at the end of April because the deals were still really good back then. I got this for a really affordable price, and they honored me with free parking because I booked it in advance. Now, if I, you know, booked it right up and right up before my stay, I would be subject to the parking fees, which I believe in the self-parking garage is around $18 a day. But again, that gives you access to the other properties here on the Strip too. Got a pretty mean looking lion right there. Looks like he almost has a goatee. And behind him is again, more of the waterfall slash volcano area. And I'm gonna give you a quick view of what it's gonna look like if you do stand at that little bonus location that I told you about near Valet here. If you wanna watch the volcano and it's too crowded down there, and just up here is where you would want to stand. Oh, forgot to mention too, under here, under the valet area, both here and near the main doors, they actually have misters. I'm not sure if you could see them on camera, but there is mist coming out to cool you off when you're sitting here waiting for your taxi or Uber or whatever. So right there is the Mirage sign. We were standing over there. And here's the view. Like I said, this is a nice spot too that many people don't come to. Most people stay along the strip. So over here, you get a kind of an upper view, upper level view, and you're behind, you know, some of the action here, but you're still close enough. And here, I mean, honest to God, no word to lie, you can stand all the way down there at the end of the sidewalk and still feel the heat from this show. It is that intense. So when you stand here though, just keep in mind, you're gonna be really warm, you know? So if you don't like heat or intense flames, you know, that is something to keep in mind, but it's also a great view from here looking at the inside. Like I said, these are all little pods. When the show starts, they actually rise up and a cover comes off and it exposes a little pipe for a flamethrower. So when that erupts, there's also like a spilling effect of flames as well. You guys will see that. I'm going to be filming at least two volcano shows for you. I feel very jealous of this magical seahorse. He is getting misted on here in the hottest of times. Isn't he lucky? But now we're gonna go right over there where those people are walking. There's something really neat I wanna show you. So I'll see you over there. All right, you know what this is? This is something I learned about during my last visit here to Vegas. This is an automatic tram service and it only goes to one place. And it actually will connect you to Treasure Island. Now, if you're staying at either Treasure Island or the Mirage, this free tram service will connect you to both properties. It saves you a boatload of time, especially in hot days like today, of having to walk all the way down the driveway, along the strip, in the crowds of people and traffic, 
up to Treasure Island. This automatic tram service runs daily for free. You don't need a ticket, you don't need anything. All you do is hop aboard. It's about a three minute ride. It'll take you from here, right inside of Treasure Island. It actually brings you inside the hotel itself. So if you're staying at Treasure Island, you can hop over here really quick, vice versa. But this is a free tram service. It does operate daily up until I believe 9 p.m. And it's a really great way to cover some ground, save some time, stay out of the massive, massive, really hot temperatures. So if you're uh, staying here and you want to utilize it, it is just to the right of the valet area. Really neat with the misting effects. And right up here in front of the front doors are some more dolphins. As I mentioned, it's a very aquatic themed resort. It is Polynesian themed, but they are heavy on dolphins, tigers, and just water itself. So again, more great photo opportunities. You can stand right here, get a picture taken with the dolphins. But now we're gonna head inside and we got a lot to show you, a lot to tell. So now let's head inside the fabulous Mirage. So we got a lot to cover here. Gonna start off again with some more statues here. They are mildly x-rated, so children, cover your eyes. But they do have some mermaids here. One here, one over there. You can see the theming here. It is almost like a hut, like a Polynesian hut with bamboo. So they do go all out to get the theming down. Now over here is the front desk area where you would check in. And this is actually a very familiar, iconic location because it is featured in the uh, Griswold movie, Vegas Vacation. They actually stayed at this hotel and most of the, a lot of scenes were filmed here, including Clark checking in to the hotel here at the front desk counter. And what you see in that video, in that movie, is this, this really beautiful aquarium. There's actually a diver in there right now. The diver in there cleaning looks like the barnacles or whatever, but yes, this is behind the hotel front desk and it is seen in Vegas Vacation. Another photo opportunity here with a psychedelic Volkswagen bus. The Beatles love Cirque du Soleil, Mirage, Las Vegas, with the peace sign. Peace, love, and harmony. So now, I present to you the Mirage Atrium. Last night checking in was my very first time seeing this in person, and I can't believe it took me so long to come here and to know that this was inside. This is incredible. It is like a little forest in here. Very lush, you know, greenery, landscaping, and there's a pathway that you know walks through, so you can actually get to see, you know, what it's like in detail up close and personal. And I'm not sure if you can pick it up, but there is waterfalls in here too. And this has been here for a long time. I've only known about the volcano; never knew they actually had their own jungle <laughs> inside. If we look up through the roof here. My room is uh, somewhere over there. So we are able to see that from the room this morning. But here is a mini uh, volcano looking-esque water feature here. Got the Mirage sign on top. And even on the back side at nighttime, it's illuminated here with different color lighting. There's waterfalls in the background, little pools of water. People do toss money in as well. But this is simply amazing for inside of a hotel lobby. Very immersive, you know, brings it to like a whole other location. You don't think that you're in just like a actual regular hotel. But that view there, look at that. On the other side here, there's a, another waterfall. Several waterfalls actually. And it's right next to the casino floor. But video, as I mentioned, does not do it justice. This is pretty amazing. 
Since we ate at Snacks last night, I do want to show you some of the other food options. Right here in the outskirts of the atrium is Tom Caliclio's Heritage Steak, which has a nice ambiance there with the palms and the waterfalls. Next to that is Otoro Rabada Grill and Sushi. They are located right here, just under the outskirts of the atrium. This next one I actually may eat at myself. I did see some good reviews on this as well. It's called Stack Restaurant and Bar. And the look and feel in here, the vibe is really nice. A lot of woodwork, different, you know, design elements with the curvature of the walls and the bar and everything like that. So it is a bar slash restaurant and it's called Stacks. And again, it's, um, I guess, really good bar food, if you want to call it that. But um, it wasn't open last night. That's why I didn't eat at Snacks. But this one does look pretty nice and inviting. It's hard to tell on camera though, but the walls are kind of like, it's almost like a red rock canyon. It's like canyon walls pretty much, now that I'm actually seeing it, and they're stacked up in layers. So it's curved and stacked, and it looks like you're inside of a canyon, which is pretty neat for a restaurant. There's all the money vacuums. They vacuum all the money out of your wallet. I do have a, we got a wine cellar here. Big walls, all different wine bottles. And over here, we've come to what is not presently open, but they are reopening slowly here in Vegas, is their featured buffet, which I was hoping to try out. The Caesars Colossal Buffet, I believe, is open. But this one here, which is called, if I can back up and get under the sign here, is called Cravings Buffet. And unfortunately, it's not open yet. Probably in the next month or so. But it is located right here off the main casino floor. But there are other options up here. This one is, I think, Costa. Pizza, pasta, and wine, which does look like it is open right now. I actually really love those steps. They're illuminated with blue tile there. And next to that is the pantry. And the pantry is a sit-down restaurant, but also they do take care of the room service. So you get room service 24 seven. It does come from here. So if you look up their menu on their QR code in the room, you can find out their options ahead of time coming down here to sit down for a sit-down service or to have it brought to your room. Obviously you're gonna pay for room service. You know, it's kind of costly, but you're getting good food. It is pretty packed in there. So obviously they do have some good tasting items in there. And as we saw on the outside, the Beatles Cirque du Soleil does have residency here. This is where you would find it, and it's really not hard to miss. You got this really vibrantly colored entryway here with the flag on the top. And although we can't go back there right now, it is roped off. It is a illuminated floor with like some big mirrored balls on the ceiling. So it looks like it's reflecting everywhere. It gives off a really neat thing. And it's a color changing floor too and backdrop, which again, makes for some cool photos. And to the right here is a Beatles Cirque du Soleil gift store, gift shop, souvenir shop. And this is the ticket booth as well. But yeah, this is a pretty neat to see this here like that. And again, it's just off of the main casino floor. Not hard to find. So after you're done eating at your high priced meal, there's one thing you gotta do, and that is come shopping at the high priced stores. And up here is where your shopping district is. Spa and salon, a place that I will not be venturing into. Karma and Luck, which looks like jewelry. Art of Music, which looks like it is empty. Essentials is probably the only store I would worth going into because they do have um, a little bit of everything. It's a combination of essential needs and items. Also gift shop slash souvenir store. So they have everything from suntan lotion, drinks, clothing, souvenir stuff. But again, you're gonna be paying more for drinks, but they're there if you need them. And we keep coming up here, we do have Missouri which is another clothing store. Oh, there's some guitars here, electric guitars for the art of music, which is 
I don't know why they're closed. The place is completely empty, but they left some of their guitars here. Paradiso, another clothing store with a big, fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada sign. Liz, Rosen Yogurt, which is a great place. They actually have one of these at the MGM Grand. You can actually get frozen yogurt and you can actually you know, make your own. They also have crepes as well and some other kind of fun items to eat. Next to Blizz is the pool. So let's try out those doors. Here is Nectar Bath Treats with a bunch of bath bombs if that's your sort of thing. They almost look like little desserts. Across from there is Roasted Bean Coffee Shop, which is quite busy, but I still never understand the fad of coffee all the time. But uh, it's a pretty big coffee store. It says they have espresso, Kona, Mocha, Macchiato, Jasmine. Now, two things I could say based on my tour of the MGM Grand to here is number one, MGM is notoriously known for two things. I already mentioned earlier that there are long hallways. They are like never ending. That's one thing. Number two is them blasting music through the main floors. Right here, it's actually quiet. There's no music because we're, we're near the convention area. But out on the main floor, it's like a um, party scene. Music is just blasting nonstop. Wow, this is really beautiful. Mirage Theater. We've got a chandelier. I'm not sure where this takes you to. A grand ballroom, meeting room. So I don't think there's anywhere for me to go down here, but this is pretty neat. Reminds me of a movie theater where you come, you know, and get your popcorn and your snacks. And I guess Boys to Men performs here and Shinlin. So this is the location. Also, this would have been too where Siegfried and Roy would have performed. Pretty neat. If you do like comedy, you can check their website. They do have a schedule. Aces of Comedy do perform here. We've got Jay Leno. Ray Romano, Gabriel Iglesias, Ron White, Tim Allen, Daniel Tosh, and David Spade. So they have a, a great venue for entertainment here. This room though is like, I feel like I shouldn't be stepping in here. It's too elegant for me. All right, enough of this fancy stuff. If there's something I wanna do, something you wanna do. You know what it is, right? Yes. Let's go check out that volcano show. <laughs>
that never gets old. I love watching that time and time again. But I am headed back to the room, so I'll see you up there. All right, that was a hike to get back to the room. So there's a couple things I want to share with you. We're going to do a little bit of talking here. Now, if you made it this far, stick around because I'm going to be sharing those two tips in just a moment. Now, there's two areas here at the Mirage I didn't share with you in this video. The first one is called Siegfried and Roy's Secret Garden and Dolphin Habitat. It's located out back near the pool area, and what it is, it's like an animal encounter where you can get up and close and personal with dolphins, lions, tigers, and leopards is what I saw on the website. Now, the reason I didn't show is because you actually have to buy tickets in advance to be able to experience that. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it while I'm here, but if I do, I will have its own separate video for that. But I wanted to mention it because it is open to anyone. You don't have to be a guest at the hotel. You could be staying anywhere else. As long as you buy your tickets online in advance, you could come here and experience it. I think they're around $25, but they do have more expensive ones as well, where you can actually get, I think, like a feeding experience or something like that. So all the information you can find on the Mirage website, but it's called the Siegfried and Roy's Secret Garden and Dolphin Habitat. The second area I didn't show is the swimming pool itself. That's going to be its own separate video because the pool area is pretty big and I am partial to MGM's pool area with the Lazy River. That's by far one of the best ones around, but from what I've seen on videos and pictures, this one is pretty nice as well. And I'm going to make my own video, its own separate video, giving you like a little tour of the pool area and obviously having some fun cooling off in the water itself. Now, if you did stick around, I do have those two tips for you. The first one is going to be involving saving money if you want to stay in this particular location. Now, like I said, Mirage is all about location, location, location. It's a centralized hub here. All the actions here, all the big names are here. And you're kind of right in the middle of like Stratosphere, Circus Circus, and then Luxor, MGM area. But right around here is all the big properties, the areas that everyone congregates to. And as I mentioned, Mirage is a moderately priced hotel. It's not the cheapest, not the most expensive. It's kind of right in the middle. And I feel you get what you pay for. It's a nice hotel, lot to, lot to see, lot to do. You know, the inside, you know, jungle, the outside volcano. I mean, I, I had no complaints about it as far as location and what the place has to offer. But if you do want to stay in the same area and maybe you don't want to spend as much money here at the Mirage, there are two alternatives. I've seen video reviews, I've read reviews online, I do a lot of research when I come to these places. And these are two places I looked at myself, but I wanted Mirage because it's just one of my favorite places. The first location is Planet Hollywood. It's just across the way, it's near Paris, and it's you know Hollywood themed, they have their own theming there. It's a nice place, a lot of food options, affordable food options, and just overall nice, not as expensive hotel, but you're still in the middle of everything. Another option, which is, I believe, even cheaper, is Bally's. Bally's is where the old MGM used to be. Bally's has been here for a while. You know, they don't have any theming. It's just a regular hotel and casino, but it's clean, and it's in a prime location. You're right across from everything. You know, you're in walking distance from the, the Bellagio Fountain. You're from the Mirage Volcano, Treasure Island Pirate Ships, you know, Paris, Eiffel Tower. I mean, everything is here within walking distance. So Mirage, I highly recommend, but if you do want to save some money or on a budget, check out Bally's and Planet Hollywood. <laughs> now the second tip I have is regarding getting a room upgrade. Now the room I'm staying in is not the room that I booked. I booked through Priceline, did a package deal, and I booked a standard queen room. Nothing fancy, no frills, no thrills, just a room to stay in. And I would have been okay with that. But I did learn from some other content creators that there is something here in Vegas called the $20 trick. And there's no guarantee it's going to work. You know, there's no obligation for you to try it, but it doesn't hurt. And that's how I got this room. So the way it works is when you go to the front desk to check in, they always ask you for your ID and credit card. When you present them to the desk attendant, you also give them a $20 bill on top. And politely friendly to say hey is there any chance I could get an upgrade or get you know a specific room I asked for a volcano view of room and they were able to grant my wishes I got this room as a $20 upgrade and for four nights that breaks down to like five bucks a piece now the girl was even nice enough to say no you don't have to give me the $20 I'm like no you 
went above and beyond. You deserve some, you know, some recognition and a little tip. So I gave her the $20 anyways, and I got a better, more expensive room with a killer view. Now, there's a right time to do it and a wrong time to ask for it. So I'm here on a Monday. I checked in on a Monday. I'm staying until Friday. If you check in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's a strong chance you'll be able to get upgraded. If you're checking in towards the weekend, that's when the hotels are the busiest and most likely the rooms are going to be all taken and probably will be declined on getting upgraded. I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask, but if you don't want to you know, go through the hassle or even worry about getting declined, you know, if you come here early in the week, most likely your 20 bucks is going to get you a better room and it really pays off. This is a more expensive room. There is obviously more expensive rooms beyond this, but this is more expensive, better location, better view than what I would have had, which would have been probably the back of the hotel near the pool or parking lot or something like that. So I am thrilled with the room. The $20 trick worked for me. And if you are staying here in Vegas at any resort, hotel, casino, and you want to try and get a free upgrade or a cheap upgrade, try the $20 trick. Anyways, guys, that is my tour here and look at the Mirage Hotel and Casino Resort. I absolutely love it. I can't believe it took me so long to come here and be inside to see the jungle, to see, you know, the theming of it and to stay here. It's, a, you know, it's on my bucket list and now I can check it off. Don't forget right after this clip, I'm going to be doing a bonus footage clip of the volcano. I did a, another viewing filming of that from a different location. And immediately following that, there will be a photo montage. But I can watch that volcano probably 50 times, never get tired of it. You know, four times a night it operates, and I can watch it from the room. I can watch it down near the, the drive uh, driveway. I can watch it from the strip. There's so many great places to check it out. And not only do I enjoy it, but I like seeing other people enjoy it too. When there's people com coming from the first time, they're like, wow, ooh, ah. You know, they're just like, they can't believe what they're watching. So... Again, I'm not trying to sell it to you, but I can't say enough good things about the Mirage location and the Volcano Show. It is well worth being in this area to check that out. Anyways, if you did make it this far, I want to thank you so, so much for joining me for this Vegas adventure and a tour of the Mirage Resort here. And um, a lot more Vegas content coming out. If you want to see my past Vegas content, check down below in the description. And if you have any questions or comments, obviously the comments section is for you guys. So take care, everyone. Thank you so much. And as always, I will see you in the next video.